African fish eagle indeed. Whew. Seems like that fight with the gremlins was quite exhausting for all of us. We thought that they were going to get the best of us, but they didn't. And we are rewarded with the sight of one of my favorite birds. They've got probably one of the most beautiful calls out in the wild. So I'm hoping that maybe this one will start calling. The partner is not too far, just sitting um, on another branch of a dead tree. So maybe later on then we'll see them. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the same pair that has been nesting at Chitra for the last few years. So they are quite well known for everyone around. And I think maybe this one, because the dam is so full, it's just maybe waiting for the right opportunity to come down and just catch some fish. It would be pretty epic if we did see it, because I haven't seen a fish eagle catch anything in quite a long time. The Egyptian geese, on the other hand, I think they're feeling that all of the attention should be for them all the time, forever, always, until the end of time. I think that's them agreeing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, look at that. Well, that's nice. They've got, they're doing their bonding display. So we are in the presence of a male and a female. And they're just kind of talking to each other and to all of the other geese around that they are the dominant ones of this particular patch of the water. You see the size difference? They are pretty much standing next to each other. And then the one on the right is smaller than the one on the left. Ruth, I agree with you. They are very pretty birds, but they are just very noisy. I think, you know, maybe I can relate to them. They've got a bit of Hispanic, South American, Venezuelan in them. We're always shouting and screaming. <laughs> I wonder what they're... Are you gonna go down into the water? There are quite a few of them. I think they're gonna go down to the water and probably start looking at the rest of the geese. There are a few more that we can see on the ridge. Um, maybe they're... Oh, sorry, I thought I heard one of the hippos, but I think it was just a vehicle moving around. So no, not the hippos, just one of the cars at the lodge. But um, And the Egyptian geese just coming and moving all around. I think maybe that car gave them all a fright because they've all gone quiet all of a sudden. Hello. I wonder if maybe they've spotted some crocodiles down at the bottom and that's why they're all coming out. It's also just that time of the day where the sun and the light is becoming a bit softer. So maybe they're just starting to find a spot where they would like to spend the evening in. Look at it, just busy tucking away all its feathers. They almost seem like very soft creatures, don't they? Chris, you'd like to know how the crooks manage to see in the murky water. Well, I think it looks murkier than what it actually is. It's not completely transparent or clear, but uh, it's still clear enough for the crocodiles to move around. But also you must remember if the crocodiles want to try and spot anything, they'll also be able to put their eyes above the water and then their nose and smell what's around and then hear what's around and see what's around and then they come and they can approach their potential prey from underneath the water very very slowly. They'll also pick up on any movement in the water, any vibrations in the water and that's uh, an extra aid that they'll have to come and see everything else. As you guys can see this dam is pretty big so I'm sure there are quite a few um, crocodiles around but for the time being I cannot spot not even one. We're gonna stick around with this 